Hey everybody, this is Todd with Industrial Comfort. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make one of these rustic home candle holders to give your home that rustic touch. What I love so much about this project is all you need is a block of wood and a piece of copper pipe. Now, the piece of copper pipe I'm using is nominally sized at a half inch, which means that the outer diameter is going to be five eighths of an inch. And we'll get to that when we drill the hole. Now, for the block of wood, you can use any size you want. This happens to be three and three quarter inches squared by five inches high. And I actually think it's kind of cool to use a bunch of different sizes, and you can kind of make a whole village if you'd like. So the first step in this project is drawing a line that's going to denote the pitch of the roof line. Now, for this particular one, I'm just going to do a straight 45 degrees mark from the center point. You can get as creative as you want with the roof. You can do it asymmetrically, entirely up to you and personal preference. Now, what I'm going to start is uh, marking the center line, creating, again, the roof line, and then I'm going to mark the drilling location for this pipe, which we're going to do first before we cut the roof out, as it's going to be too difficult to try to get that Forstner bit in at an angle, as opposed to drilling first and then cutting the roof line. So let's start and uh, draw out the lines for the roof, and then we'll create a quadrant so we can determine where we're going to drill the hole from the top for the chimney. Now marking the roof line before we start the drilling process is important because we want to make sure that the depth of the hole we drill reaches deep enough so that the cut of the roof doesn't interfere with the insertion of the pipe that's going to serve as the chimney. I mentioned earlier that the pipe, while it's a half inch nominally, it actually measures five eighths of an inch in diameter. So we have a 5 8 inch Forstner bit that we're going to use to drill the hole here. So we'll clamp it in place and drill the hole for the chimney. Now before I cut the roof line, I thought it would be easier to cut the door first. I just have more wood to hold on to as I'm running this across the router table. And I've got a half inch straight bit that I'm going to use to cut the doorway. With the chimney hole drilled, and the doorway milled, the only thing left to do is cut the roof line. So I've got the saw here set to 45 degrees and I'm just gonna cut along the lines that we've drawn for the roof earlier. Now one thing you want to be aware of, and I'm not sure if you noticed in the video, but when I went to make the cut, this wood was too deep for the depth of cut on this saw. So I had to flip it over and then cut it again from the back side, which is really not what I wanted to do. So just be aware of how thick your wood is and the fact that you may have to do that as well. Now, the next step is to cut the chimney from this piece of, of copper pipe. So in order to gauge how um, high I want this pipe to go. I'm just gonna insert a pencil and you can use anything that you have laying around the shop. And I'm probably gonna have it up here. That'll pass code as far as the roof line goes. So I'll just lay it down here. I'll mark it on the pipe. We'll make the cut 
and then we'll put it in the house. A quick polish with some steel wool really brings out the shine of this copper pipe. A quick final sand and then we'll put the chimney in place and put the final finish on. The fit is fairly snug, so I use a block of wood and a hammer for a little encouragement. For the final finish, I'm going to put on my favorite true oil, get a couple of coats of this on, and we'll be ready to play with fire. And that's how you make a rustic home candle holder. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.